a warning against wizards. <laughs> and there's another one. I had to highlight that one. And this is God again speaking through Moses. Because I guess God had a sore throat that day. It was like, hey Moses, you go fucking tell these people. My throat is fucking wrong. You go tell them. And the soul that turneth after such as having found familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul. So if you go to a whore or a wizard, God's not going to talk to you anymore. Wow. The next warning is... Um, Laughable. It's the, uh, it's the only word I can find for it. And the man that committeth adultery with another woman, even that he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife. Why does he have to stipulate that? Look, don't fuck around, even if it's your neighbor. Uh -uh. <laughs> the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Now, I'm not saying every guy that's married should fuck around on his wife. But if you know somebody who fucked around, you have to kill them now. Because <laughs> he's not saying he's going to do it. He's saying, you're going to do this. <sighs> and again, the shaving a head, that's uh, forbidden again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Nor shall they shave off the corners of their beard, or cutting of the flesh, or ink of the flesh. Anybody got tattoos? <laughs> Abomination! <laughs> Stole that motherfucker! <laughs> There's a few chapters left. Uh, chapter 22 is all about sacrifices again. It's where to kill an animal. Uh, chapter 23 is on magic days. Certain days you should burn things. And then other days, nish, nish, don't do that. Then we pick up again in chapter 24, which is a, a great chapter because it's, it starts with the payoff. Um, because now you've done all this stuff. You've given up pigs. You haven't talked to any wizards or talked to any whores. So now this is the stuff that you get because God's like, hey, thanks for being on my team. This is the payoff. Chapter 26, verse 8. Here are the rewards once you've given yourself to a strict kosher diet. If you can do that and stop hanging out with wizards and whores, I will give you peace in the land and you shall lie down and none shall make you afraid. I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And ye shall chase enemies, and they will chase and fall before your swords. So, give up bacon and become a badass motherfucker. You become shaft, basically. <laughs> and five of you shall chase a hundred. I don't like those odds. Because <laughs> he doesn't say you'll win. He's just saying, five of you can go chase a hundred. I don't know what's going to happen. You're on your own. <laughs> and a hundred of you shall chase ten thousand to flight, and your enemy shall fall before your sword, and I will have respect on you. You win God's respect. There you go. He'd be like, fucking, okay, you're all right. <laughs> And he shall establish a covenant with you. Ooh. And there's more killing. Um, Leviticus ends with a, uh, a very interesting chapter, I thought. I was like, hmm, that's kind of neat. It's a price on humans. 